last sessions we have seen resistance and rc firing circuits in this video i'll be presenting the multi sim modulation of r triggering circuit first then we'll move on to rc triggering circuit the circuit shows the components are being modeled now we'll try to run the simulation here you can see the waveforms also the waveforms are there is the voltage across the scr is marked in blue and uh, the red line shows the current waveform and the green one shows the scr trigger voltage now it is being run with a low value of resistance so scr triggers very quickly alpha is very small now we will try to increase the alp uh, resistance value it is being adjusted to say 44% now you can see alpha is almost 90 degree means uh, vg is reaching vgt only at its peak value so it is almost 90 degree the alpha and the current waveform you can see from 90 to 180 degree the scr is conducting so output voltage output voltage as well as output current waveform are there and the scr voltage there whenever scr is off during conduction period scr voltage drops to say one knot here you can see the gate voltage as well as the current okay this is the red one as the current and the longer amplitude one is the scr voltage you can adjust the ranges of y axis to see the complete waveform accordingly the small one that is the scr voltage okay so what we inferred is by adjusting the value of r2 the res resistance from low to high you can see the firing angle is varied from 0 to pi by 2 now we if we increase further the port is adjusted to a higher value resistance is increased further you can see no output current waveform only the voltage across the scr it is same as the supply voltage here you can see the gate voltage gate voltage is very low in magnitude it is not reaching gate threshold voltage vgt the minimal value to turn it on so scr is off output voltage is not there now we'll move on to rc halfway trigger circuit this is the circuit diagram which we have seen in the last videos and these for a low and high values of resistance how the capacitor voltage is varied this r is increased second case r for low value of r you can see capacitor voltage reaching vgt very quickly so output voltage accordingly these things are being explained in the last two videos now we'll see it in its modeling the simulation part done in multi sim you can see the circuit okay now we'll run it the model you can see d1 d2 capacitor the cr then the fixed resistance as well as the variable resistor r2 current waveform scr voltage waveform and the S capacitor voltage waveform is being plotted so now it is done side by side okay it is being run you can see the resistance value is port is adjusted to a very low value means uh, the triggering happens uh, very quickly alpha is very close to zero here you can see the capacitor voltage are reaching the threshold value vgt very fast so scr voltage is there till it turns it on after turning on it becomes almost one volt drop across the scr okay in the current waveform you can see in the graph it is a red one it is a current waveform now we will run it and uh, 
parallelly we will adjust the pot value the resistance if it now it is very low will start increasing you can see the correspondingly the waveform goes on okay for a low value alpha is low for a high value now we can see approximately alpha reaches 180 degree now we reduce again the waveform corresponding changes are observed in the waveform okay so that's it okay thank you